So a guy had an aneurysm in the comment section of one of my videos the other day when he said that he couldn't physically bear to watch my video because of how I was mispronouncing the name of this flower. In the video, I was pronouncing it the way it's spelled, bug loss, when supposedly it's pronounced bugloss. Bruh. Like, I'm sorry, but what? We say stop bugging me, not stop buging me. It's not a bug's life. Man, the English language is whack. Anyways, because I'm a classy and mature gentlewoman, I'm gonna spite this man by pronouncing bugloss incorrectly for the remainder of this video for the memes. I hope you all can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Without further ado, let's get into this thing. Alright, so this video is going to be going over some of the best spots to farm materials in ESO. When I say best, I mean that these locations are easily accessible, they have plenty of nodes to harvest that are all in close proximity to one another, and there are little to no ads in the area to annoy you while you try to farm. When looking to establish your own farming route, I would recommend scouring starter zones or areas that are deep into a zone, far away from any major cities with lots of players in them. You'll find that the nodes in these places are often plentiful, and there'll be less people naturally stumbling upon nodes and stealing them from you. For those that may not know, farming materials is a pretty good way to farm a substantial amount of gold, seeing as materials are always in demand and always worth a fair amount of gold. If you can find a really efficient material farming route, you can make upwards of 100 to 300k an hour. If you're still relatively new to the game and unable to comfortably complete certain kinds of content that reward you with gold, or if you're just looking for a chill way to pass the time while making bank, then farming maps to sell for gold is the way to go. Be sure to slot the Plentiful Harvest and Master Gatherer stars from the Craft CP tree while farming for a chance to get double the yield when harvesting a node, and to reduce the amount of time it takes to harvest a node, respectively. For those wondering, because I often get asked about this, I'm running an add-on called Harvest Map. It highlights node types on my map and in my world once I discover them. I know that a fair amount of you guys play on console though, and I know that it can be a bit of a bummer to see stuff like this when you don't have access to the utility of these add-ons. So I've made an effort to showcase my filled out harvest map for each of the locations mentioned in this video. Feel free to screenshot them to help you map out a farming route for these areas or to use while farming. Here's to hoping that some more quality of life tools can be implemented into the game soon. If you're looking to farm a lot of boog loss, as well as other alchemical reagents and raw materials, one of the best areas to farm is in Betnik. Port to the Carved Hills Way Shrine and follow this general route that I'm highlighting on my map. This particular route is nice because it loops right back to the Way Shrine, so when you're done farming, you can just port somewhere else, like to a hub city to refine all your goods. Speaking of, where do you guys go to do all your crafting and refining? I've been a Vardenfell girl since day one myself. The township of Fells Run is another superb spot to farm materials. The area is vast, full of nodes, and there are no ads to be seen. Oh look, a loose. I will usually do a lap around the perimeter of the town itself, and then I'll run around the farmlands that are adjacent to it. On PCNA, this place was also a pretty lit role-playing hub, so farming mats while reading some spicy European zone chat was always a good time. The farmlands of Fair are a great spot to farm alchemy mats, like Boogerloos. I find that there's a ridiculous amount of water hyacinths in this area, which are used to make some crit potions. I like to start at one end of the lower farmlands, and then gradually make my way up to the higher levels. I've reported a lot of farming bots in this area over the years, but hey, that really goes to show just how great of a spot this place is if the bots love it, right? I used to see one or two every time I checked this place out a while back, but Zoss has recently cracked down on a lot of bot accounts, so I haven't seen one in a while here on PCNA. Thanks, Gina. Very cool.
The coastline of Canarthi's Roost is a great spot to farm lots of wood nodes from all the driftwood, as well as ore nodes from all the rocks and small cliffs. Unfortunately, there aren't too many Esht Oksinzunga nodes in this area. <laughs> you may run into the odd skeever while farming this place, but they're easy to kill and they have the potential to drop rawhide scraps, which is just as nice as finding raw silk in the wild. If you're like me and you had no idea Balfoyan even existed until you had to go looking for a lead in this area, I'll point it out on the map. It's to the east of Stone Falls. A great spot for farming mats here is right outside Fort Zarin. If you hug the sides of these elevated rock surfaces, you'll find yourself running into a lot of ore nodes, and once those have all been harvested, you can move into the fields to harvest silk nodes and alchemy nodes. Like Big Lewis's. Oh, and let's not forget about our Tam. I know that a lot of people prefer to farm mats here. Not only is our Tam such a pretty place, but there are no ads in this entire zone, and there are a lot of citric portals to be found here. Pretty fitting, huh? There are also a lot of heavy sacks littered throughout the zone, and if you have a big brain like me, you'll create a route that passes through all these nodes so that you can find yourself looting one or two heavy sacks each lap. This list wouldn't be complete without giving a shout out to Craglorn. What makes Craglorn unique from other zones is the fact that there is a chance for potent or fortified Nurncrux to drop from wood, or or cloth nodes in Upper Craglorn. I like to port to the Valley of Scars Way Shrine and then pay a visit to each of the Nurncrux mines in the area. They show up as world boss locations on your map. I gather all of the materials that I see while doing so. Once you've looted every node in the area, you could always port over to Shada's tier and grab a whole bunch of alchemy nodes that spawn over there. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna keep calling it bug loss. <laughs> Come at me, haters. Those are some of what I think are the best spots to farm materials in ESO. They live up to the expectations that I set at the beginning of the video, and I've had a lot of luck farming these locations personally. However, I know for a fact that there are other great mat farming spots out there, so if any ESO veterans are watching this video and want to share a spot that they'd like to farm, feel free to do so in the comment section. Although I completely understand if you'd like to keep your sacred farming route a secret. If any of you guys give any of these farming routes a shot, I hope that they can serve you well. That's all for today's video, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!